Tonight, for the first time, we're hearing from the man shot by Metro Police while sitting in a car in his grandmother's driveway. Now, Anthony Macklin is out of the hospital and he plans to sue the city, the police chief and the officers who shot him. Our John Duran today got a chance to speak with Macklin and that wrapped up just a few hours ago. John joins us in studio to, with a look at what the young man is saying about the shooting that changed his life. John. Well, aside from his injuries, the 24 year old Anthony Macklin says he's still in disbelief. He and his attorney say Macklin did nothing wrong. They say the officers used excessive force and are demanding the body cam video be released and those officers fired and charged for what happened that night. Anthony Macklin is still off his feet. Oh, it's just crazy. Just can't believe it. Five weeks ago, he was shot by IMPD officers while sitting in his grandmother's driveway. We believe that as many as three dozen rounds were fired into that car. Right shoulder, lower rib. And then this arm here and out the storm, I still have bullets that are still inside of me that sometimes I feel like causes pain. Macklin lives in Ohio, but says he was in his hometown of Indianapolis to pick up his car that had just finished being repaired. The family's attorney said Macklin was in a rental car and planned to surprise his grandmother, Vicki Driver, but arrived at her house around three in the morning and didn't want to go inside and wake her. So Macklin says he stayed in the driveway and fell asleep with the car on. Driver didn't recognize the car and didn't know her grandson was in town. I just was kind of scared that, you know, maybe somebody was doing something they didn't have any business doing, so I called 911. Macklin says he did have a handgun on his lap, but never grabbed it. As soon as I heard anything, I immediately wake up and um, just look to my right and left and immediately was getting shot at. I just heard so many gunshots, so many gunshots. Driver quickly recognized the person in the car was her grandson. When that door opened and I seen Anthony and I said, oh, what have you done? Anthony, you know, I'm so sorry. Driver is the president of the Oxford Neighborhood Association and on IMPD's critical incident response team. When something goes wrong, they call me. And I tell them, call the police. After this, I can never tell them that. IMPD has not yet released body cam video, but they say they plan to release it later this week. And the family has seen it at six. Hear what they tell us they heard and saw from that body cam video about the, how the officers reacted immediately after firing their weapons. Yeah. More than 30 bullets fired. Yeah, yeah, that car just looked, I mean, hit so many times. Yeah, okay, we'll look for your continuing coverage tonight at 6. Thanks, John.